What's going on, YouTube world? All right, today we're back at it. I'm in a good old Dixie Chopper LT 2200 series. It's an older version, but it is a monster, and it does its job every time until it doesn't, and then it starts leaking oil. And then I guess it still did its job. We still used it for the rest of the season, so it hung in there, right? All right, cool. So. uh that is what we're working on today. I'm basically just getting the garage heated up because I do not want to wear pants. I just want to be in shorts and a hoodie. I still want to be back in Florida, to be honest with you. That's really where I need to be. Moose, did you want to get up here? Is that what you want? Go ahead. Or you want a piece of wood? There you go. Go ahead and take that over there and chew on that, buddy. All right, so... As I was saying, warming up the garage is what we're going to do. So let's do that. It's cold. It's still cold. Go ahead and break Got a bad wind direction, too, is what's going on. It's coming underneath the dang whatchamacallit. The garage door, because that wind's coming that way today. Three heaters going because I didn't want to wear pants. That's cool though. Uh, what's wrong, Paul? I'm taking a jigger. Let's figure that out. Alright, what that was was uh, my gimbal. Learning stuff every day. The gimbal uh, couldn't spin freely, it was hitting a box that was on the counter and he goes ding, ding, ding. It's awesome. All right, um, you got three heaters going now. This is the intro. All right, so we got it cleaned up. Just Moose, what are you doing, buddy? Every time I put gloves on, you think it's boxing time. All right, let's. Some days, nothing can be where it needs to be. Alright, so. I can hold this and see if I can. Okay, so that's definitely the way. Let's go ahead and buzz that off here. Good old normal threads. It just allows us, because if we're trying to take it off with like your normal ratchet like this, right, you're going to use that, you got to physically hold it up in this area, just because you spin it with the motor, the impact will hit it as it's turning, so and that's harder than it can react I guess you would say so it allows the bolt to spin without spinning that it's out now I gotta probably figure out some kind of pooler or whatever I'm gonna need to get this stuff out so oh shit that thing's wiggling loose I love it it's you know been highly oiled for the last I don't know four months so we'll pull that out of here and see what that can consist of that but I'm glad I'm getting a video of it. 
way. I know how she goes back. Okay. This has got some kind of something going on here. Yeah, I get my head in there. You can't see anything. But I bet you that's just I don't know what parts that has. I'm going to learn to WD that and let that have some time to sit so it'll slide down too, I'd imagine. And then there's going to be something that's locking that in. So we're going to spray this down with WD and got, give it a little bit. That way we have to clean up that a little bit just a tad, just so I know that oil's getting back in there. All right, we'll do that. Can I get that plug undone? Right there. So that's what we're working on right this second. It's gone, but that was a pain in the butt. I literally thought it would take maybe 30 seconds so I didn't even film it because I'm thinking hey I'm kind of glad I didn't either man that took me way too long all right so what I'm hoping here is I take my good old air hammer right I use an air hammer and then got the garage door wide open it is nice still got the heaters running but that's just the kind of guy i am speaking of air hammers compressor kicked on so i'm gonna drop that right behind here and end up with some of that drop it Maybe not to work like I want. Right, let's see what happens. Let me get up in here and just wiggle it a little bit. Oh. Shows no sign. Wanting to come down. There's another bolt just falling out of the dryer. It can't be. Uh, I wonder. I wonder why, 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 wonder. Well, um, I'm thinking maybe just a little, man, I really thought that could probably work, but that is probably not doing anything, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so, um, alright, um, so, I'm going to have to figure out something else to do here, but I'm not going to go far, so I'm just going to leave you guys going. So, at any time, you got to be able to jump from one to another. Like when it comes to the zero turn that we're working on right now. So I need a puller. I need something to pull that system down. Um, tried the air hammer. I tried a few other things. Nothing worked. So um, one thing we do got on our side is that oil has been leaking back there. So hopefully it's not too, too seized. Um, but we got to get the rest of that clutch system off of there. And that puller that's above, or that pulley above it. So... Um, what I'm going to do here is switch focuses and I'm going to have to take the plasma cutter, the welder, I'm going to have to weld up something to make a puller and I'm going to try to pull off of all that at one time, if possible. We'll see. Um, if not, we'll take it from there. But right now, 
This is going to turn into how to make a cooler for some specific stuff that instead of running to the store and grabbing something, like O'Reilly's and renting something and bringing it home and it doesn't work, we're just going to specifically design our own cooler for what we need it for. Stay tuned. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take our plasma cutter and our welder and we're going to start with that. Um, we're going to use a plasma cutter to cut all our cuts to make our, our cooler nice and straight and then of course we're going to use our welder to put everything in order and weld it together. So that is what we're going to start at this time and it's going to be awesome. So we're going to do that. Let's do that. <laughs> So what I got going on so far is I have drilled a hole, capped it out, that way we got threads here, right? Half inch bolt is going to come up to two brackets this and that goes like that. I think that was on operation.
Alright guys, this is the pooler that I came up with. I think I pretty much got her here. Uh, we're just pulling it down the rest of the way here. As you can see, it worked absolutely amazing. Alright, we don't want to get it too tight. We already won. So, I just wanted to celebrate some success here. And show you that we were able to get it with this beautiful homemade pooler that worked wonderfully so we want to go yeah, absolutely with this we can loosen it up and get it out of our way um i didn't get into too much of videos on the pooler just because man sometimes i was getting pretty aggravated in my first couple designs i mean it's still the exact same design that i had in my mind from the get-go the only difference is is that uh, I just had to reinforce everything and first time I didn't make up for this right here I had to add a little bit for this piece right here so uh, after a quick redesign where we got everything more this is what we came up with we got this off an actual pooler set and then we just threaded our bolt straight up through there simple but definitely effective so and there we go guys this is a all our units should be able to come off now nice and easy uh, of course now they're still not coming off but uh I'm gonna have to use that puller a little bit more, I think. Now we're getting close to the edge there. Maybe if I just even that's the pull on there's the clutch pop. Alright, so there's my clutch pop. Love it, love it. Stuck right to the magnets. Another big magnet up inside. A bit of oil falling down. Definitely where we got our leak from, you know. That's that center oil seal right up in this area right here. I guess you can't probably see it yet, but I'll show you what's leaking. And that's what we're going to fix is the whole thing about these videos is to get that fixed right there. Damn leaky oil. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see if we can just pull a little further here. Oh! Go ahead and thread her her back in here for a second. And as you can see, we're definitely getting some huge success, but we might as well use the easy setup for stuff, right? That's why we made the damn thing. Might as well use the damn thing. This time it's gonna be quite a bit more easier to access. We're gonna look at that up in place real quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Switch it over to the impact real quick. So we we'll make up some time here like this right here. I like it. Cobalt, buddy, what's up? No, I'm just joking. It's just Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Do I not know what's going on? Yes. We can solve that that quick right there. Alright, we don't want to leave pieces to the clutch though. And folks, there is our clutch. What a beautiful, 
beautiful product. All right, so we got the clutch off. We only got one left, or excuse me, one pulley left, and we are official, official. So let's go ahead and pull that off here. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna celebrate like a mother tricker, because we got this mother tricker. I might be able to see. This is gonna hurt my fingers when it falls down anyways. Take it. Um maybe there's still too much on this belt is what there is. So actually I think we're gonna go back up with there. There we go. Go back up with that. And now I can't remember what the tension pulley is for those, so. That's my two pumps. These are my two pulleys. These are the pulley tensioners right here. That's what these are. Okay, so that's that tension pulleys on this side right here. So, I guess we will figure that out and then I will be back. But as you can see, this is pretty much wrapped up here. We're going to get this belt off of here and then pull down that pulley, and that's going to come right off. We're going to clean up this shaft real well, so when we go to put everything back on, um, we're good to go. That keyway must have came out and something, so we'll have to find that. So, guys, awesome. I'm very excited. We're definitely... Well, guys, I'm absolutely super excited. Then I got that done. That was a pain in my ass. Um, so now that that's where I can get to the oil seal, I think I'm going to leave the motor on there maybe and see if I can drill up into that seal and just pull it out and then see if I can get the seal. I'm going to go check out the seal on the internet right now. So until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.